Okay, all right, so this is take three of the homework video, and the reason why is because I don't think I can do it on a graph paper anymore, because for some re- Oh, now the pen's here. That's great. Okay, all right. Wow, that sucks. All right, so now I'm going to shoot a video, and uh, someone's looking at my door, and I'm trying to figure out why they're looking at my door. Okay, all right, so uh, now let's see what's the best way to do this. I don't think they're the best way to do this. Okay, all right, they're knocking on my door now. Hold on. All right, I think they were just trying to sell Boy Scout cookies. No, I'm just kidding. No one knocks on the door to sell cookies. Okay, all right, so page 221. Oh, so tonight's homework, yes, Monday, all right, homework number 13, page 221, number 31 to 35. Um, now... Uh, I said this just five minutes ago, so I'll say it again. So the homework tonight and tomorrow, it's a bit of a review, even because you took the uh, GCF and LCM exam last Friday, hopefully. So uh, we're starting a new unit today, right, in class. And so I don't want to give you brand new stuff for homework, okay? I want to make sure you guys can do the homework. So that's why it's going to be a little bit of a review. But in a way, it doesn't matter because these questions are as relevant as ever. All right? Because you're actually going to do, need to use GCF quite a bit in the next unit. So having said that, let's start with number 31. All right. Now, I'm actually going to do this. I'm going to attempt to do all these in my head. And I would sincerely hope that you can do that too. So what I'll do is I'll just jot down the answers, okay? And I also hope that you guys don't copy the answers, but at this stage, there's, I can't discern the difference anyways if I'm asking you to do this in your head. So, all right, so we'll see. Okay, for number 31, what's the GCF between three and 15? That's right, it's three, okay? So if you need to pause, you can do so also, all right? Number 32, what's the GCF? It's not two, it's four, okay? All right, number 33, what is it? That's right, 12, 34, that's a good one. Yeah, nothing, it's one, all right? Not nothing, but it's one, okay? Last one, now last one, you're gonna ask yourself the question, can 30 go into 500? That's, that's really what the question is. Okay, so can 30 go into 500? Nope. Mm, so it's not 30, okay? So you can forget that. Uh, let me let me make this small. How about 15? Let me think. Can 15 become 500? Think about that. Can 15 multiply something that will give you 500? Nope, right? Because 15 times 3 is 45. So that will be 50 again. Yeah, no good. So what's the answer there? Yep, you got it, it's 10. Okay, all right. So yeah, that's it, okay. So thanks for watching. Uh, let me add one more thing actually, since there's time. For something like this, how do you know if your answer is like finished? Okay, so th remember what we did with um, greatest count, I mean not the distributed property? Right? How do we turn this into the distributed property where you take the GCF out, right? And you're left with the numbers inside. And so the follow-up question is this. Now, 10 times what gives you 30? Right, three. 10 times what gives you 500? 50. So the question becomes something like this. How do you know that you've used the greatest common factor? How do you know that your answer is the greatest common factor? Yeah, you look at these two numbers inside. If these two numbers, if you can't find another greatest common factor besides one for three and 50, then you're done. That's how you know, okay? And that, that has implications when we uh, reduce fractions, so. Okay, all right, thanks for watching and uh, have a good one. OMG, that was so good.